right guys, well uh, these are the backpack shockers we'll be using today. And we end up using these quite a bit for fisheries work and they're really great because you don't have to haul a boat somewhere or be hauling generators to be able to shock fish. And for real remote places, these are just ideal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the downstream end of this and work our way up just shocking the fish. And then one of the big assumptions with this method is that uh, your effort is the same for each pass. So first thing I'll have you guys do, if you see uh, right here, it's on uh, this one on that unit. There's a uh, plugins for the cathode. And this is gonna be the little rat tail that follows you around. And this is where the negative side of the current's gonna be. Plug it in here and this kind of locks in there. So that panel goes on again. And in theory, when we have this set up right, the fish are gonna come right towards it because you don't want it fishing hot enough that you're barbecuing and everything, but you also don't want to just be hitting them hard enough that you just spook them upstream. So we're gonna have them set. So hopefully they're just coming right into you as you bring this, uh, this wand back to you. As their muscles contract, then they swim forward. And so, you, the, and the forward is toward the anode. Yep. So they, it should pull them right to the anode and then you net them. So if you're real good at this, you go through and you should have 80 some percent of the fish. So the first pass, the second pass, you go through, you get the other 20% and you should be cleaning up the leftovers. The small ones are gonna be like this big. The largest ones, probably- Nine inches, 10, 10 inches, nine inches here. Yeah. Not, not, not very big. I was an ASC grad, believe it or not. Oh, okay. Before they were ASU. <laughs> but before you guys start, I wanna, I wanna go up. I wanna just, I want you guys to Guess how many fish we're gonna get out of this stream. It's just astonishing how many fish there are in a little stretch like this, in a little tiny stream like this up here. So how many fish do you think you're gonna get out of here? 50, okay. Come on, everybody, I, you gotta guess. 20. 20? 40. 63. 63? 75. 75, Linda? 70. 41. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. So you want the nose right towards that end, and um, you're gonna press the tail down. So you got 267. BRK 267. Perfect. I started the Monday after I graduated. So I'm living the life of a seasonal right now, so it works so that I work six months out of each year doing this. So from May through November, I'm here doing this. And then over the winter, I go find seasonals somewhere where it doesn't snow and there's jobs, so. And you guys on your fish ID, you know brook trout, they're gonna have these um, fin tips here, this black and white. And then they have this mottled type of coloration up on top and these red dots. Um, browns also have these red dots, but they're circled by a round um, circle. Just drop a fish in, hold it down. We're reading in millimeters. Tell April the, the species, so we have rainbows or brooks. Um, weigh it and then give her a, a millimeter length. And then it goes in, they go in that bucket over here. This is our return to the water bucket. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. What it is, is big. It's just a, a great big uh, dighted water beetle. Well,